The land of 10,000 lakes is also full of beautiful hiking trails, and fall is, of course, a great time to get outdoors. In my humble opinion, it's the best time to get outdoors. It is the best time. Great weather, too. As part of our Twin Cities Live in your town week in Farmington, we're going to take you guys to Whitetail Woods Regional Park in Dakota County. TCA reporter Kristen Hobrick is live oh. right now in all the beauty. Wow. Hi friends. Oh my gosh, I think I found the ultimate treehouse experience. This is one of their camper cabins. And as you can see, we are nestled right in the pines. You just become one with nature. The cabin is built up on stilts, so giving you a really unique and fun perspective out here where you could view the wildlife up close. So it's so pretty. I want to bring in Katie now with Dakota County Park. So Katie, it's really fun to be out here, but tell me about how these cabins were constructed. You utilized kids from the college nearby. Yes. So welcome, first of all, to Whitetail Woods Regional Park, Kristen. We're glad to have you here. Uh, these cabins that we're in today are called our Pine Forest Cabins, and they first opened nine years ago today. Good today. timing. Good timing. It's your, your birthday. Your great timing. <laughs> it's your birthday. Um, and we used local students from the Dakota County Technical College to help us with the building construction. And how fun for them, because they yeah. don't get a project to this magnitude, probably yeah. typically. Talk about once in a lifetime for them, these being so architecturally unique and beautiful. They were meant to be iconic, really to really be a signature for Whitetail Woods Regional Park, and they are. And we were just sure. so pleased to partner with them that they were willing okay. to. So donate. five cabins total mm -hmm. throughout the park. Yep. Tell me how many people does the cabin sleep? Uh, up to six people. We have uh, two bunk beds. Well, there's a bunk bed in each of the cabins and then a pull-out queen-size sleeper sofa. Okay. So up to up to six Nice. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that there's not a kitchen in here, which is a-okay, mm -hmm. utilizing, you're kind of promoting outdoor cooking. Yeah, well, it is still camping after Come on. all. Yeah, you got to be a Yes, uh, but there is an outdoor fire ring with grates, and we have a, a nice picnic table. We make it as comfortable as you can to cook outside, although, you know, um, these are camper cabins. You can bring takeout, everybody. Hey, you, you can order pizza. You but can. Yeah. When I was camping in Colorado, we do like the hobo dinner. It was yeah. just the tin foil, carrot, celery, beef. You just wrap it all Yum. together. Yeah. It hits right. It feels yeah. good. It feels like fall. And bathrooms and showers are also right nearby. Yep. You two minutes of a walk away. You have hot running water, hot showers, fully heated restrooms, right? So the creature comforts that you want in a camping experience, we've got them here. Over here, we're steps away from the trails that you have. We're on 500 acres here. Mm -hmm. How many different hiking trails would you say? Oh gosh, there are, it's almost a, maybe five or six miles of hiking trail here. And in the winter time, many of these trails turn over to cross country ski trails. Yes, that so, has to be so popular. if you are a winter enthusiast and if cross country skiing is something that you love and enjoy, you can bop out of the cabin, put your skis on, and be on a ski trail in a minute. Okay, now in addition to having your family here, you've had a girlfriend getaway. Yes. Tell me about the popularity with that. Aspect. Yeah, so there's lots of different customer groups that we love serving, and my own personal self, when my girlfriends, um, once a year we get together, we go to different places, and we picked this place this past fall, and it's so comfortable to just have a slow morning with your girlfriends. You yes. wake up with a cup of coffee because we brought our coffee maker course. Which is a-okay. Good coffee. You want to wake up and Must have be coffee, served. look yes. outside. Yes, and it's just comfortable and quiet. I mean, look at this. It's it's just the oh, recharge and the rejuvenation stunning. that you need. I also appreciate, and we can walk a little this way, sure. uh, that there are no TVs in here, right? no video games. But if you wanted to, some folks are using this to work from home or maybe gain inspiration if you're a writer or something like that. Yes, we have high-speed uh, Wi-Fi in all of our cabins, so they're all hardwired with fiber Wi-Fi. Um, some people love that, and some people don't use it, and that's great. We serve them both. I come here, and I see um, sometimes people watching the Vikings game here at the campfire round, and that's okay. Um, you don't want to miss <laughs> the game sometimes, no, so don't. whatever whatever you need. <laughs> and then in addition to the cabins, you have music in the park in the summer yeah. and like a really nice kid area not far from here either. Right. This is just the tip of the iceberg with Whitetail Woods Regional Park. Um, just, you know, a couple hundred yards to the south, we have the main trailhead where there's a huge picnic shelter, a sledding hill that's lit, by the way. So in the winter when it's dark a lot of the times, you can come here and we've got a lit sledding hill till 10 p.m. How 
fun. Yeah, yeah. Back to the camper cabins. Can you rent just once overnight, multiple days in a row? Yep. Multiple nights in a row. We've got five total cabins. We take reservations about four months in advance. So if you're not a planner, you haven't thought a year in advance, that's okay. Um, we only take reservations four months in advance. So okay. trying to accommodate everybody. Great. Well, Katie, thank you so much. Yeah. Guys, she's got a crackling fire going for us. I mean, this is just, I'm good. And I really love the idea we're close to the Twin Cities. You don't have to invest in all of the camping gear, the tent, the sleeping bag, all of that, or do an Airbnb. You just come right here. It's brilliant. It's, it's stunning. It's such a I'm great idea. It. It's wonderful, Plant Kristen. Thing. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. that. I mean, it's so cool. It's like it never ceases to amaze me that we we're always discovering things that I had no idea existed, and I was born and raised here. It's yeah. just amazing. Well, you would never think that those camper cabins, if someone said go to these camper cabins, you'd be like, oh, you just have this idea of like these rustic little cabins. Those are like modern, like really modern, really aesthetically pleasing, architecturally beautifully yeah. homes. But you still like, have to walk outside to go to the bathroom, which means you're roughing it. You are roughing it. <laughs> so if you guys want to rough it in style, head over to, uh, to TwinCitiesLive.com for all the information on the Whitetail Woods Park uh, cabins in Farmington. Very cool.